friends. I want to talk to you tonight about playing around. See, when we were children, we used to go around and feel things out and play. We played with just, well, it was just play. It wasn't for any particular purpose. It was just to have fun. But subconsciously, in our nervous systems, we were learning how to move. We were learning how to adjust to the world around us. We were learning how to deal with our balance. And we were building our bodies up. You see, as we're born, our skeletal systems are very, very malleable. And our nervous systems, likewise. And as we move around and test the ground and test our balance, we develop strength. And we develop fluidity and mobility. And we do that in the direction of the stress. <clears throat> We're upright creatures, so we develop very strong leg muscles. Our legs are nearly three times as strong as our upper bodies naturally. And going in that direction, you know, we need to challenge ourselves in all sorts of ways. Now, rote exercise is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it. You need to do dedicated exercise. There's just no escaping the fact that you need to do dedicated exercise. However, we are more than just the sum of our parts. We are more than just bench pressing. We are more than just squats. We are more than push-ups and sit-ups. We are so much more than those things. We are movers. We are movers more than anything else. There is a theory out there that we actually develop such complicated brains simply for a complex movement. That being the case, <clears throat> in order to develop your movement potential, yes, having an instructor is good and having dedicated exercise is good, but just feel things out. Start feeling out your balance points. Feel out your structure. Work on hand balance, work on walking on all fours, work on you know, running, work on moving very slowly, moving very quickly. Work on these ideas and feel your structure change, feel your balance change. And when things feel good, continue on. When things start feeling poorly, assess and adjust. But the big thing is play, have some fun, mix it up. You should always have play days worked into your routine. Play days are just immeasurably important. It keeps the monotony down and it lets you experiment and, and do things that are outside of your normal movement patterns. The more diverse your movement skills are, the better you're going to be at just general survival fitness, as I put it. It's part of who we are as humans. With that, my steak is almost done cooking. I'm going to kick it off for the night, so good journey.